Thank y'all for joining today. I uh, want to thank such a, a great diverse group for coming to uh, honor something that's very important to this community. And economic development is one of those things that uh, we cannot be complacent about. Uh, we cannot rest on our laurels when it comes to economic development. And the best things happen with economic development when we work as a team. For the city of Lake Charles, uh, some of our most pivotal and impactful economic development partners are joining us today. It's an exciting day to be standing here on the lakefront, listening to some of the sounds of the construction behind us. Though we are battling with a little wind, that is okay. It is better than some of the winds we have been through. So uh, compared to other moments in our history, today's a very good day, very good day for the city. What we are all standing in front of here is evidence of over $40 million worth of investment on our lakefront. Lakefront development that we have spoken about for decades is happening. See it, believe it, it is happening. And last night at the city council meeting, the council approved the final design for Crying Eagle. So we'll be having another groundbreaking for that very soon. So a lot of great things happening in the city of Lake Charles in Southwest Louisiana. Exciting is actually an understatement. The time is perfect for us to gather here today and announce Lake Charles Investors Day 2023, which is scheduled, scheduled for June 15, 2023. In June 2021, the inaugural Investors Day event was held. Our hopes to spur economic development from that event were successful. That particular event in 2021 was very focused on housing as uh, we had seen such an impact on housing after the storms. I'm proud to say that that Lake Charles Investors Day in 2021 has resulted in over $100 million worth of investment into several key housing developments in the city of Lake Charles. Uh, Louisiana Housing Corporation just signed off on those tax credit deals a couple weeks ago. So once again, things that have been announced, but also things that are happening, actual tangible results. Again, those three projects we can directly link. HRI is a company out of New Orleans, uh, Banyan Foundation, and another company called MGM. Also, Green Coast Enterprises is planning to invest in downtown Lake Charles, and they also attended Lake Charles Investors Day 2021. My administration loves partnerships, and we especially love partnerships that produce results for the betterment of our community. Again, I'm honored to be here today with several key partners who are making Lake Charles Investors Day 2023 a reality. If it were not for these partners, we would not have this event this year, and I thank them for their participation. I would now uh, like to introduce from Visit Lake Charles, Vice President of Sales, Taylor Beard Stanley. Taylor. Um, we at Visit Lake Charles are very excited for the opportunity to partner with the city, the port, Chenault, and the Community Foundation on Investors Day 2023. For meetings and events like this, we are happy to lend our expertise in marketing and logistics. Bringing investors to Southwest Louisiana opens their minds to different ideas and projects that can enhance our area for residents and visitors alike. It's an exciting time to be in Southwest Louisiana as we reshape what our destination can become and we're excited to be a partner for that. Thank, Thank you. you Economic diversity is very important for this community and as of late one of the most pivotal partners that has represented economic diversity for this community is Chenault. So I'd like to now call up Executive Director of Chenault International Airport, Kevin Melton. Mr. Melton. Wow, this is a great opportunity for this community to recognize and highlight the diverse economic and business opportunities we have in Southwest Louisiana. To build our community, it takes relationships founded on trust, it takes vision, and it takes a relentless drive to develop enhanced ways of thinking and improved business development strategies that will propel our community for decades to come. With that in mind, my thanks to Mayor Hunter and Assistant City Administrator Kimberly Delafoss, Delafoss for creating this opportunity to highlight our community in the ever-continuing effort 
to grow economically in order to become a powerhouse for the region. I am also appreciative of the partnerships Chenault has worked to grow as evidenced by my colleagues, whom I will call my friends, with us today. Again, on behalf of Team Chenault International, or Team, or Team at Chenault International Airport, where over 1,000 community members are employed, we thank you for this opportunity, and we look forward to a prosperous Investors Day on June 15th. Thank you. When we think about ports, sometimes we only think about water and, and, and maritime vessels. I think the poster child for diversi uh, diversifying the, uh, the actions and the responsibilities of a port should be the Port of Lake Charles. And so I'm honored to have with us uh, Executive Director of the Port of Lake Charles, Richard Self. Ricky. Thank you, Mayor, for the opportunity to uh, promote Lake Charles Investors Day 2023. Uh, you know, we think this is going to be a uni unique opportunity for our area to really showcase and highlight all the assets that we have in southwest Louisiana. The Port of Lake Charles has been involved in economic development for nearly a century now, whether you're talking about rice from the local farming community to LNG or oil and gas, uh, and now we're emerging as a, as a, a powerhouse for wind energy in the Gulf. Uh, we are very excited about this opportunity. I think this event will give us an opportunity to uh, have a lot of area leaders in the room at one, at one, at one time, um, and I feel certain that it will result in the development of public-private partnerships for investors for Southwest Louisiana. Thank you, Mayor. Ricky, you mentioned wind energy. Perhaps, uh, <laughs> perhaps the Lake Charles uh, Lake might be a good opportunity to pick up on some of that wind power. Uh, and in recent history, with all that we've been through, uh, there is a particular nonprofit that has really stepped up to try and provide this community a very holistic and uh, impactful and sustainable way to move forward. And uh, that group is the Community Foundation. And their plan, just imagine SWLA, I believe, is a plan that offers us sustainability but also a way for us to grow in ways that we have never grown before as a community. So I'm very excited to have with us the CEO of the Community Foundation, Sarah Judson. Sarah? It is so exciting that not only are we recovering and rebuilding from our year of 2020, but also we have the opportunity to look toward the future and the long-term future. We are so fortunate that through generous contributions, we have been able to have community input, literally thousands of pieces of input from people across Lake Charles in Southwest Louisiana, and partnered with world-class master planners that have given us the Just Imagine 50-Year Resilience Plan. So when we think about bringing people together for Investors Day, to understand the opportunity for public and private partnerships, for private investors to know that we have a plan. And as Mayor Hunter said, it's a team effort so they can have confidence that we are working together and that their investment will be good in Lake Charles and Southwest Louisiana. So we're real excited that we're gonna have uh, Megan O'Hara, the principal from Urban Design Associates who led the plan, will be here to talk directly with investors as a, a part of that day. So we look forward to that and are glad to be a part of it. Thank you. Sarah mentioned the word team, and it certainly does take a team of agencies working together, but individually within our own uh, agencies, it takes a team to make things happen. And uh, I very much uh, appreciate my team. But for this specific event, I want to turn to Kimberly Dallafoss, our assistant uh, city administrator, and I want to give her a lot of credit because she is the one that brought this idea to me, and she deserves a round of applause. Thank you, Kimberly. Now, she only brought me half an idea. I made it a good idea. There was a few things about her idea that weren't perfect, so. <laughs> but she really does deserve a lot of credit, and I really appreciate her and all of my members, uh, all the members of the team. The government can do a lot of great things, but I've said before, and I'll say it again, the best things happen when government and private industry works together. In closing, Lake Charles Investors Day will be held at the Golden Nugget Lake Charles on Thursday, June 15th. The one-day event will feature a community overview, breakout sessions, and a networking event. Most notably, we look forward to hearing from Jorge Ayala, 
Regional Director of the Economic Development Administration, U.S. Department of Commerce, as our keynote speaker. More details and registration information can be found at LakeCharlesInvestorsDay.com. There is a $50 uh, charge to attend, and space is limited. Thank you again for joining us today. We'll see you at Investors Day 2023. Thank you.